Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. And so in this video, we'll be talking about a tropical disturbance, a new disturbance as a matter of fact, that has a chance to develop into a tropical cyclone and a lot of models are now hopping on to that outcome. And so we'll be taking a look at what they're expecting as well as what the National Hurricane Center has to say. And so this is the same disturbance that I talked about uh, in my previous video at the time. It wasn't designated as a disturbance by the NHC but now it is and so confidence is increasing for us to see a tropical storm and so before I go into details Okay, so first things first, we are taking a general look at the Atlantic Basin right now. And we're seeing that uh, we have two tropical waves out there. One is associated with our disturbance and another is ahead of it. And we also have some activity, a little activity going on off the east coast of the U.S. And that little area of deep convection in the South Caribbean. And if we want to move a little bit more west and head over into the eastern Pacific, that is actually associated with tropical storm Celia, which has a chance to become a hurricane so it is over there on the eastern pacific not posing much of a threat to land but our main focus is the atlantic basin so let's get on with it so here we have the national hurricane center's five-day outlook and we're seeing that this this uh this disturbance is given a 20 percent chance to possibly develop and we see that imminent development is not expected which is the reason the chance is so low so as this tropical wave continues to propagate towards the west into that shaded yellow region that is where we could see some development taking place as it nears the Caribbean and it looks as though it's going to be staying relatively low so uh, the Windward Islands might feel the worst of it if it really uh, goes along that track and what's going to really keep it south is the strong high pressure system if we have that strong high pressure system uh, centered over the Atlantic then it then it is likely that this thing here is going to be moving on that continuous track and not really moving to the north but there is a lot of time between next week and now. I mean, this is roughly about a week out or so. So yes, the Caribbean definitely has to be on alert because here we have confidence growing and growing. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the various models are expecting. So first up, we have the GFS model. And so this is by Monday on the 27th of the month and we see that we have that low pressure system developing out in the Atlantic maybe a little bit midway between the Windward Islands and uh, the coast of Africa thereabouts maybe a little bit more than midway but as we head to Wednesday on the 29th of June GFS is expecting that this thing here is going to be crossing over the Windward Islands and take a look at that we have it uh, being relatively low so as as I said, it's as a result of that high pressure system that GFS is expecting to continue to steer it towards the west and not really making a northward turn. Then as we head to Saturday of next week on the 2nd of July, we see that this thing here is continuing to make its way towards the west, crossing the Caribbean and headed to Central America as a 972 millibar low pressure system. That is likely a hurricane at that point. But in order for us to get a hurricane, other conditions have to be conducive. I'm talking about uh, the wind shear as well as the uh, dry air. If we have a lot of dry air intrusion, that will likely keep the intensity at a minimum. And then these strong upper level winds, they really help to rip up the systems and prevent them from growing and intensifying. So once conditions are favorable though, it is likely that we will definitely see some intensification of the system here but a little too early for any major intensification but let's wait and see what's going to be happening let's move on to our next model the cmc so we are seeing that by uh monday this coming monday on the 27th cmc is expecting that 1007 millibar low out in the atlantic accelerating to the west however by wednesday on the 29th of june we're seeing that this thing here is a little bit more north latitude than it was uh as what they're expecting for Monday. So this is this is suggesting somewhat of a northwesterly like track or west northwestward like track. And it is showing it uh, getting ready to cross over the Lesser Antilles. But take a look at this. This is very interesting. So the model then has it accelerating up to Hispaniola as a 987 millibar low. So this is probably the minimum pressure of a strong tropical storm or even a weak 
a hurricane. However, headed to Sunday, the 3rd of July, CMC is showing that this is going to be crossing over the Lacayan Archipelago, which is the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands, and weakening, of course, pressure has risen to 996 millibars. So when we have a rise in the minimum pressure, that indicates a weaker system, but the lower the pressure is, the stronger the system. And that is the end of the CMC model run for now. So could this be headed to the US if it takes that track. We'll have to wait and see. Next, we have the Icon model. So Icon is showing that by Wednesday of next week on the 29th of June, uh, the system here is going to be making its way to the Lesser Antilles. Not as strong as what CMC was showing, but maybe a tropical storm and by Thursday on the 30th of the month it is showing a 1000 millibar low pressure system crossing over the Lesser Antilles which is more than likely a tropical storm at that point and then moving into the Caribbean where it gains a little bit of strength because we see that a 2 millibar drop in the pressure has taken place there so we really have to wait and see what the eventual outcome is going to be guys but one thing that is getting very certain is that we will see a tropical system by next week it's getting very likely now even though the chance by the nhc is low of course it's going to be low because in the next five days it is not likely that we will see this becoming a tropical cyclone however as time goes by once conducive conditions are ahead of it the chance will gradually increase as we progress into this weekend and into the early part of the new week so if you are in the Caribbean, specifically the Lesser Antilles, please be on watch. You might have a tropical storm headed your way and it could acquire the name Bonnie. So this could be Tropical Storm Bonnie, keeping that no other system pops up and rapidly gains strength and becomes a tropical cyclone. Uh, uh, I believe there was one model in particular that was expecting something in the Gulf, but we're not seeing that consistent among all of them. So I believe that model was Icon. So let's go back to Icon. And so by Thursday on June 30th, it is showing something interesting here. Maybe a tropical storm landfall in Texas. That is very interesting. So we'll have to wait and see if anything is going to pop up in the Gulf of Mexico. But uh, we don't see any other disturbances marked by the National Hurricane Center for possible development. So again, guys, we really have to wait and see. But if you're in the Lesser Antilles, it's time to keep an eye on the tropics because we uh, you could be dealing with a tropical storm next week. As for the rest of the Caribbean, the Greater Antilles, uh, we really have to wait and see because, that, as I said earlier, that high pressure system is really going to be determining... Uh, uh, the track of this thing here, whether it remains on a westward like track and trudges across uh, the South Caribbean and move over into the Eastern Pacific, or if it is going to be making that northwestward like turn is what the CMC model was showing. So a lot of time between now and then, a lot of things are possible. So we have to wait and see. But in terms of conditions, things are looking wonderful out there, especially as we head closer towards the Caribbean. We see that things are much warmer in terms of ocean temperatures. So ocean temperatures are not really an issue right now but let's look at other factors such as that dry air so here we have this map and so when we have more of these oranges and reds that indicates more of an abundance of dry air and so if this wave is going to continue moving to the west and not really moving into that region where we have a lot of dry air it is going to be in favorable conditions in terms of that and next the wind shear has to be uh, conducive as well and it is something that changes on a regular so it is likely that we could see this thing here accelerate into conducive conditions that will enable intensification and so guys that is really it for this update video so we are watching this thing here and maybe it will be designated as an invest in the coming days but again if you're in the Caribbean to be specific the Lesser Antilles you want to keep an eye out for this possible tropical cyclone. But of course, I will be keeping you updated as time goes by. And so if you found this video to be quite informative, please give a thumbs up. And of course, you can share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question. I'll try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And of course, remember to always be weatherwise.